Hey, how we doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Sit back and enjoy. We have daily discussions during the week on different things that are going on that affect us as shop owners, repairs. We also do a series on you know do-it-yourselfers for you guys that are trying to figure out how to fix some of your own stuff. Um, just appreciate everybody that continues to watch. All right, so probably one of the biggest things that I've seen, and usually it's it's a, a factor of sitting over a long period of time, and they get gummed up. You get on your riding lawnmower, you hit the switch, and nothing. You spray a little carb cleaner in it, thinking maybe you pick up the fuel, still nothing. What is the culprit? Well, well, most of the time, there's your culprit. This here is your fuel solenoid. And what it does is it just simply has a plunger inside there that when the key switch is off, this shuts the fuel off. And when you turn the key on, the plunger moves to allow fuel into the carburetor bowl. Now, years ago, before they started putting this on, we had just the standard fuel shut off in the tank or in the line coming to the carburetor or at the bottom of the tank. And this unit here can get very expensive if you're buying the OEMs. So let's just take a quick look and, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So it takes a, a half inch wrench and I have already loosened this one. This is a brand new carburetor. You know, I, this is for demonstration purposes only. So we're going to take this out and you can see on the very I don't know if you can see right here, but that's your plunger. And what ends up happening is this plunger gets gummed up. The If you're using ethanol fuel, it will varnish this needle and it gets all gunked up. Most times what you can do is pull the, it's a two wire prong, pop that off, take this off and then just take carburetor cleaner and just keep spraying it and keep working it to try to get it to free up and down. Once you've got it so that it's fairly smooth, plug it back in. You don't have to put it in the carburetor. Just plug it back in and just turn the key switch on and off, on and off, to make sure that you're watching a smooth flow up and down. 90% of the time, you can clean these quickly and have yourself running and going again. If you were to replace this fuel solenoid with Kohler, you're probably talking around $67. They have markoffs, you know, on eBay for around 10, 12 bucks. I know a lot of guys that will take this because they, they either will have a rubber plunger or like this one, a steel. And I'm known of a lot of guys that will just take and cut it off so that it, it doesn't affect anything. If you do this, make sure you've got an inline fuel shut off or put one in. You know, my shop, we try to keep everything that is supposed to work on it, working on it. Uh, we don't disable these as a shop. So, if you put it back into the unit that you're working on, plug it back in, and by turning the key on, off, on, off, this here is going, because it's just a magnet pulling it down, you're golden. You just simply take, screw it back into the bottom of the carburetor bowl, and that should solve your problem. I would take it one step further. 
I would take the carburetor bowl off because if this is all gunked up, good chances are your bowl needs to be cleaned as well. It's You're just taking out on this one, there's two screws. Some of them have four screws. But if you do that, I think you're going to find that that lawnmower is going to run again. You know, honestly, I don't know why they went with this system like this unless they just figured everybody was a doofus and they don't shut their fuel off. Because what ends up happening is it stops it from doing a couple things. And one is, is running out the carburetor and the other is where it can go through one of the open valves into the head of the engine when it's shut off. So hopefully that's helped some of you guys out there. Just take the fuel solenoid off, carb cleaner, keep working it up and down to get it going again. A lot of times if it's been setting for two or three months, they can get stuck up especially if you're using the ethanol fuel. So on that note, you guys have a great day.